Good morning. I don't know if you can hear. I mean, obviously Ronaldo's freaking barking, but ill. <coughs> um, my dad's mowing the lawn. Okay. My mom called me because she wants me to go with her to pick up or buy my brother a TV and buy him a a chair, like a computer chair. And I'm over here like. How am I supposed to film right now when my dad is fucking cutting grass? This doesn't work out for me, man. It's fine. We'll work around it. But, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Well, what a day. Let's see. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.29 p.m. So it's 9.29 It is 9.29. I did do laundry. It's right behind me. I need to put it away. I know I'm being ghetto right now with this tape, but this one's like coming off and I don't want to go ahead and put crazy glue or not that crazy glue. It's actually nail glue. I don't want to put it on because I'm, I have my nail appointment tomorrow and I just don't want to make it harder for her to remove it or so. So I was like, I'm just going to weigh it out. But uh, obviously it didn't really vlog today. And the reason why is because I just didn't have a good day today. I think it's just so crazy how, like, optimistic I am on Saturdays for, like, my weekend. It's like I say, I'm going to do all these things. And then shit always happens. And I never get to really do the things that I said I was going to do. Um, it was a very triggering day for me today. And um, I was debating whether I wanted to talk about it today or not. But I did say that you guys are like my diary and I'm going to say whatever I feel like saying. Um, but like I mentioned this morning, you know, I woke up, my dad was doing, uh, he was mowing and I woke up and I was like, you know what, Ronaldo, bro, hey, it's okay, it's okay, relax. Um, I felt like going and getting some Krispy Kreme donuts. And then my mom called me. And she was like, uh, what are you doing? I was like, I'm taking shit. I was in the restroom. <laughs> and she's like, Cochina, why are you answering the phone right now? And then I was like, where are you at? Because I, it sounded like she was in the car. And uh, this was like 9 a.m. maybe. And she's like, oh, I'm on my way home. I came to hike. And I was like, you went hiking? she's like yeah she's like i'm just stressed so i decided to go hiking and i said okay and she's like what are you doing later on and i was like well i have you know i'm gonna film and stuff and then she's like well i wanted to see if you can like dye my hair or go with me to marshall's or something and obviously <clears throat> i'm a very caring person i'll put myself aside to like be able to be there for somebody if that makes sense so i just decided to be like i'll just figure out my schedule later but let me just spend some time with my mom um so i did i was like okay whatever so she came home i ate breakfast and then we went to uh marshall's i drove i went to marshall's we went to five and below and we went to target and i actually got this at target I bought two things. So this was on sale for $14. It's just a dress, long sleeve, and it's like ombre effect. Really cute. I'm just scared that it's shortened. Let me see. Now I'm just I'm scared. Wait, is this? Oh, this is the back. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, with the dryer, it went a little bit shorter, but... We will see. I can always wear it with some tights. But I got this dress. And then I also got this orange dress. This was actually $20 at uh, Target again. And this is actually from the Wild Fable. Is that what's it? Wild Fable line. They actually have a lot of cute stuff. But it's very teenager-like. So it's not good for everybody. But I really, really like it i think it's super simple and cute something that you can definitely like layer up but 
Um, sorry, I'm like running out of breath and stuff. Um, remember when you have your mask to always take the strings off, okay? Because this will wrap around and then you can throw it away like this. Just saying. But, um, so then my dad called basically asking us to come home because we were gonna go get gorditas today. Um, I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's basically kind of, that's not a torta, but it's just, it's food. And I was actually craving it. So, my dad was like, yeah, let's, let's uh, go get some. So, this is when everything goes to shit. Um, I get home. We have an electrical gate. And there was a car coming really, really fast. So, I tried to, like, turn very quickly into my driveway. I didn't give myself enough space. I ended up crashing the back of my right tire into the fence, which I still don't understand how I did that because when I was looking into my right mirror, like I had space. So I was like so confused about how that happened, but I was just like, oh fuck, did I like fuck up the fence? Like, cause it made this big sound and I was just thinking like, oh my God, my dad's gonna be so upset at me. It looked like I had broken it, but thankfully, um, it did not break. The gate did not end up breaking uh, the motor. I didn't fuck up the motor, but I did fuck up my right tire. So I was like, great. Which is funny because it was the exact same tire that had that, um, I say needle, but it's not a needle. Nail. I had a nail in it that I went to go fix a couple days ago. Yeah, so I had to go get a brand new tire and I was just like annoyed that I had to like go through that. But I feel like that moment set the tone for everything. Because obviously after that happened, like literally as soon as that happened, I tell them, well, I'm not in the mood to eat anymore. So I don't think anybody is anymore. And then I feel like I kind of ruined it. You know, like that moment. Um, I grabbed our stuff and I just came into my room and I was just like crying because I was like, it was just something that was just annoying. It could have been avoided. You know what I'm saying? Like if I would have gave myself more room that could have been avoided and i feel like i wouldn't have set the tone for today um and you know, like when you cry so much that you're tired then you just have that good ass nap that's what i end up doing and then uh, i woke up um well before that even happened though uh my dad was like i'm gonna go get you your new tire whatever and my dad told my mom like how about you and ashley go get the get the gorditas Mom's like, oh, I don't want to drive, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I can drive your car. And she's like, no. She's like, y you see the way you drive, blah, blah, blah. Like, like, we were trying to meet in the middle here. And my dad got a little bit frustrated in the sense that it's like, you're not putting in effort, you know, like. And then my mom just got mad because of the attitude or whatever. And decided to, like, leave. And I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it just, like, triggered me because it took me back to many years ago when i used to live here and it was always like bickering and fights and i felt like in a way like it's not my fault but i feel like it was like i feel like if i wouldn't have done that that we would have had gorditas and we wouldn't have had that attitude because then my mom was just like at home in her in her room all day not interacting with us and then i think it was because when i was going to marshall's my mom was talking to me telling me that uh, basically she wants her own space and that she's trying to figure out how she can do that while living here. And then if she can't, that she's going to have to move out. But I know that she can't afford to move out. And it's like, I don't know why that affected me. Because I've always been so about, like, her. She's always put in so much to make sure that. Like, my brother and I and my dad are okay. And I've always told her, like, you need to put yourself first. So, I've always been very, like, about her living her life. Like, be like, yeah, like, I'm older. My brother's older. Obviously, my dad can do his own thing. 
And when I had moved to Washington uh, years ago, like maybe, I don't know, it's been like maybe five years now. <sighs> when I moved to Washington, my mom had also moved out. So I didn't have to experience that situation. But I feel like now that I'm here and like knowing that that's how she feels, I don't know why it just triggered me. It's like I, I don't know why it affected me hearing those words. I guess in a way it felt like abandonment, I think, maybe. Um, maybe it also made me feel like, well, if she leaves, then does that mean that like I have to take the role and be the one cleaning and making food and stuff? Like that's not my, I don't feel like that's my role. Like I don't feel like I should be responsible for, for that, you know? And it, I don't know. I don't want my mom. I don't. I feel like every family has problems, and I feel like in my podcast and everything, the things that I say, I feel like I'm gonna make myself sound like the victim, and I'm not really trying to do that. I'm not trying to like portray people in a bad light. We have our good moments, but I just don't know. But that really like set the mood, and it just got me. I think it just triggered me to the part where. It just took me back to those years that it was really hard for me. Um, so it's just been a fucking day. But I just distracted myself but by watching a lot of Netflix and I haven't been in like, social media really or anything. I haven't even spoken to my best friend today because I'm just like in a... I don't want to say that I'm in a dark place. It's more like I'm just an autopilot. Just... Just keeping myself distracted or whatever um and then two you see i told you guys that i put the ps4 in my room and i bought the fucking game and everything and then my my friend i was like hey what time are we logging in apparently he's out of town and that's completely fine but i'm just annoyed that like i went out of my way to get the ps4 for my brother buy the game download it and then it didn't even happen. You know what I mean? Like he, so it was just like, wow, what a day. But I know tomorrow will be a better day. I know tomorrow. I am an L appointment. I actually have to edit a video for work purpose. And uh, I have a Zoom call meeting of work at 430. And for whatever reason, that resume didn't go through to the email that was provided. So I'm going to try to see if I can like resend it. And if not, then it made me, if my friend can, like, be like, hey, can I, you print it out and turn it in? I don't know why it's not working through email, so we'll see about that. But, yeah, I mean, it's been a day. Um, it's going to be fine. Right now, I'm going to do my laundry, and I need to select. I don't think I'm going to do all the clothing for the week. I mean, I am, that's eventually the goal. I don't think I'm going to finish today selecting all the clothes for the week. I think, obviously, those two things I'm going to put in my rack for the week. Um, but I think I'll figure the rest of it out maybe tomorrow or so, and then I'll show you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so I can edit it real quickly, which is not going to be too long. And then I will um, put it up. <sighs> but yeah. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, a beautiful night, whenever you're watching this. Y si Dios quiere, nos vemos mañana, okay? Bye!